Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars TIE Fighter. Uh, the last episode, we finished uh, Tour 2, which was the Sepan Civil, Civil War, and we now have access to the TIE Advanced. So, even though we technically could have done this earlier, I purposefully waited until this point in the storyline to do the combat training missions with the TIE Advance because technically if we were doing this, you know, like uh, chronologically, we wouldn't, like, we didn't have access to this ship yet, so it didn't make sense for us to be doing training missions for a starship that we technically, that technically didn't exist in the storyline. So now that we've reached this point, we can kind of consider this training as like you know, just like it would be in real life when a new fighter comes out, they're like, okay, hey guys, we got this new this new jet fighter and we're gonna have you guys run through some simulations with it before we send you out into the real world. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is TIE Advanced Mission 1. Learn to use the missiles and the targeting system. Starting with a stationary target, work your way through faster and more evasive mobile targets. Which, guess what? That's actually the same mission that they have you do with the TIE Fighter, the original TIE Fighter. Why am I not getting a mission briefing? What did they do to my mission briefing? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It's basically the same the same mission that they have you do with the TIE Fighter when you first start the game. Alright, so you use your targeting systems to track enemy craft and destroy them with concussion missiles. Alright, so never mind, it's a little different. You'll begin with a single stationary X-Wing with no deflector shields. Each new X-Wing that enters will fly faster and more evasively than the one before. Your primary objective is to destroy the first seven X-Wings that enter. If you wish, you may pursue a secondary objective of defeating five hostile X-Wings in combat. They will enter individually and with full shields. They will increase in aggressiveness and intelligence. If you run out of missiles, you have one reload available. Target Tug CM Katie and press Shift B. Rendezvous with the Tug and come to a complete halt. Reloading will take five seconds. All right. I think that's all they're gonna say. Yep. Okay. Now, I mean, we don't even really need to use our concussion missiles here, but since that's what the mission profile is calling for, that's what we're gonna do. Delta. can't aim straight down. This game has got some sort of gimbal issue when it comes to steering. Superb hunting. Press F2 for warhead view. Really? I didn't know this game had that, I don't think. Or, I didn't remember at least. Uh, that's cool. It's four, three to go. Oh, come on. Get him. Ah, that one's gonna fail. 
Oh, that one might fail too. Excellent right, work, Delta One. All right, we got one left. We're gonna actually throttle up to get this guy because I don't want to risk it missing. I want to get right on this guy's tail and let it out. Let it loose. Let it fly. Or as a sniper would say, send it. Whoa! That was close. Order acknowledged, sir. Missiles back. Now we're going to we'll stick around and we'll engage some fighters and dogfights. Why not? All right, here they come. Now I'm actually I'm not even going to use my missiles for these guys, because if it's one-on-one, -on -one, I can engage these guys with lasers just fine. Especially, the best thing about the TIE Advance is we are shielded. So the TIE Advance is basically the... Empire's response to the A-Wing. We are very small, very fast, but we actually have the firepower of an X-Wing. Like, this ship is so OP, it's ridiculous. The only thing the Tide Vance doesn't have is ion cannons. If this ship had ion cannons, it would be the best ship in the game. It's still pretty damn good, though. Number four. They said we have to do five of these, and then I guess they're gonna they're gonna put us up against different craft. It's typically how these missions go. Oh, come on! Excellent hunting. How did none of those hit? bonus goal. What is it? Oh my god, yeah, look at that. We have to fight. Oh! Five groups of A-wings of increasing numbers. Duo, trio, quad, quin, and hex. So that's two, plus three is five, plus four is nine, plus five is fourteen, plus six is twenty A-wings. Alright, we can do it. 
If we were in any other ship, I would totally give up, <laughs> but since we're in, we're finally in a tie advanced, we could totally do it. Oh, wow. That hurt just a little bit. You're gonna be hearing a lot of beeping because I'm gonna be messing with my throttle quite often. Definitely want to go fast, but the slower you go, the tighter turns you can make. So when I'm chasing a guy down like this, I want to be going full throttle, but when he starts to turn like this, I want to cut my throttle back so I don't overshoot him. Seven percent, you bastard. Work, Delta One. Okay, that was just the duo. Here comes the trio. Bastard. Ah. Uh, done. Oh, alright. Three wasn't bad. Here comes four. Whew. I can just spam this. Bound to get hit on something. See, now it's tricky because now when I'm chasing one down, I'm going to be getting shot at by like two or three more. then. It's alright, we're back at full shields already. The shields on this thing recharge so quickly, it's nice when you shunt energy from the lasers to the shields.
two percent. All right, Quinn. Quinn, it's five. It's just five, and then six, and then we're done. Can't afford to miss. Come on. Uh, that's it. Fly straight for me, you bastard. Oh, thank you. So satisfying when all four lasers hit the target. do this it's all over oh my god oh look they're in f they're <laughs> they dropped off right in front of me and just like that they're down one down to oh, it would help if I wasn't at 33% throttle
Three to go, three to go. Is it the last one? And it just so happens to be the, the squad leader. It's Hex 1. Hex 1 against Mobius 1. And you know what? We haven't used missiles this whole time, so let's see if we can't get a missile lock on this mother. Oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare. Might as well dual link it. didn't go through. I thought it hit him head on, but that's a kill. What? No. No, I'm gonna kill you with torpedoes, or with missiles. Excellent. Yes, it Delta hit him! One. Excellent work, Delta One. Secret mission objectives completed. Oh, that's epic. The one, the one missile that he didn't blow up, it actually hit him. That is very rare that that actually ever happens. <sighs> well, that... That was a hell of a training mission, I will say. But I love the TIE Advanced. Just look at this thing. It just looks so... So deadly. So deadly with those pixels. Those are some deadly pixels. Alright. Look at that. Solid green. You don't get it very often on this series, but every once in a while, I do totally destroy a mission. And this mission was totally destroyed. So, alright. That was Historical Mission 1. Uh, next week, we'll be doing Historical Mission 2. And uh, we'll be back to the uh, actual campaign after the first four missions. I don't know how, how long some of these take. Some of these might not be that long, and if they're pretty short, like I, I used to do two episodes a week, I'll probably do that to help burn through the series a little bit quicker. But that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Mobius1 here. I'll see you next time.